Hello, welcome, or welcome back. My name is Ash. Happy Wednesday. Today, I want to build a companion palette to the Blend Bunny Blends palette. And this was specifically a suggestion from a very lovely subscriber. I'm going to have to go back and check out who it was because I can't remember because um, I'm bad with remembering usernames. But um, thank you for your suggestion. Whoever you are that I can't remember, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, if you're not familiar with the Blend Bunny Blends palette or Blend Bunny in general, Blend Bunny is quite honestly my favorite eyeshadow formula I've ever used in my life. Um, they have the best eyeshadow formula in the widest variety of shadows I've ever experienced in my life. Um, like uh, the, the formula is so consistently great in so many colors is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's why they're my favorite because you get such a variety of options with a very consistently wonderful formula. Um, and Blends is the first palette that Blend Bunny ever released. It is an all matte palette and it is quite obviously very much like a rainbow palette. Um, at its core, it's a rainbow palette, but it basically covers all your bases that you could ever really need in eyeshadow. Um, if you're new to makeup or new to colorful makeup, I think it would be a wonderful addition to your collection if you're looking to purchase more colorful eyeshadow or just more eyeshadow in general. I honestly recommend it to everybody who's looking to buy eyeshadow like that I talked to. Um, it's fantastic. Can't go wrong with it. Um, anyway, the only problem I have with the blends palette, and it's not even really a problem, is that it is all matte. And I've had this this thought for a while. I wish there were metallics in it. Um, and so when my sub when the subscriber uh, suggested I build a companion to it, I was like, that's a great idea. Why don't I make my own metallics to go with it? So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to build an all metallic little 10 pan BYOP to go along with all the color families in blends. Um, so this is going to be all glitter, metallic, shimmer, just lovely lovely shiny things to go along with blends. Um, and so I think the way I want to handle this, um, the way I can make this the most versatile version of this palette is to use more toppery kind of shades, just more sheer, maybe some glitters, um, just things that could work on top of the colors as well, because like, um, if I use like really, really dark metallics, I might have a hard time using those with, you know, other color families in the shades. I feel like that's going to just box me in a little too much. Whereas if I go with more sheer, toppery, glitter kind of shades, I might have more versatility. So I think I'm going to focus on the toppers and like glitters. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so very first is my reds. We're going to go in rainbow order here. And I have these two. This one is, uh, I know it's Urban Decay, Element from Urban Decay's Moondust palette. And then this is Nebula from Kaleidos' Club Nebula palette. Sorry, I'm not even in frame. My bad. So there are those. And these are really lovely. Um, the Kaleidos one leans a little bit more pink and Element leans a little bit more orange. Although Element, Element kind of shifts around. It's like an orange to red to pink. Um, so it's kind of like a trichrome. And then Nebula kind of just shifts from like this reddish pink to a cooler pink. Um, it's still pretty pink, whichever way it goes, but it just goes more reddish or more cool. Um, given that the reds and blends lean, they have like a more pink undertone, I think the better option would be Nebula. Although I could use Element with the oranges too. I don't know. 
I think I think Nebula would be the better option to put in for the red row just because it has that pinkness to it that element has but it's just a little more subtle I think um so I might go with that or what are you what are you oh this is angels landing from hip dot it's also pretty it doesn't shift really it's just kind of a warm pinkish red it is really pretty but um i think i am gonna go with the kaleido shade just for now might change it later but we'll see okay and then oranges um i could go with a glitter i've got some beautiful like orangey glitters here um and then i also have these really light shimmers that could be really versatile and i'm trying to think the um the oranges in blends don't lean too peachy they they do stay pretty orange they don't really lean too brown or too peachy or too yellow they're pretty orange so let's see this is calendula from ace beauté's floral vintage palette and i feel like it looks more peachy more pinkish in the pan than it does in a swatch it's almost kind of a lighter version of element it's got a little bit of that gold it's like a pastel version of element except it doesn't really shift pink it just kind of stays a little bit peach but mostly orange and like it's got that gold shift um like i said though i could go with a glitter this is um i think this is story from tati's textured neutrals palette yeah that's story and i also have this color pop glitter this is full effect These both have a little bit of green glitter in them as well. I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera. From where I'm sitting, um, looking through the camera, they just kind of look orangey. There's not really a lot of shift going on or like multicolored glitter that you can see. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I do like Calendula though. Hmm. Maybe you? pretty feels like a blend bunny <laughs> that's pin curls from blend bunny's dollhouse palette it would be kind of funny if i ended up using some blend bunny metallics for this um i know this is um zip it up from blend bunny I just like I don't know if that would be too too dark to potentially use with like the lighter shades hmm you know I like pin curls I really like pin curls I also like calendula but I feel like pin curls would go better with the oranges in blends. Like, um, let me see. Where's Speedy Bay? Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the um, matte oranges in blends. This is barley. This is like the mid tone orange. My son is not going to bed tonight. That could also be pretty. 
and that might actually work the best. Um, that's Marigold from Ace Butte's Floral Vintage Palette. I guess I could go with um, shades that would work nicely with the mid-tone matte. That might be a good way to go about this. Um, but also the shade is sheer enough that I think if I wanted to do like a more light orange look, I could do that. So let's just try that maybe. Is that? I don't know. I don't know right now. Okay. And then onto the yellows. The yellows in the blends palette lean a little bit green. Um, in fact, I have the um, middle yellow shade called, um, I think it's called Wildflower. I don't know what I did. I have it in a BYOP. I don't know where it is right this second. Um, but it's so green that I keep it in my green palette. Um, it's kind of like one of these, just a little bit more green even. So I don't know. I've got Electric from ABH's um, Subculture palette. This kind of has like a greenish blue shift. It's also very sheer. And I feel like that could look really pretty um, next to or on top of other shades in the blends palette. I've also got this yellow. It's just much more of like a bright, sunny kind of yellow. That is Sunflower from Ace Butte's Classical Paradise palette. I feel like electric is good. That's what my gut's telling me. I think I'm going to go with electric. I like it. Oh. We're good. Okay. On to the greens. Okay, and I have a few options here. Um, let's see, what is my heart telling me? Because, like, um, this one right here is the mid tone green from Blends. It's like a very bright like grass green, Crayola crayon green kind of shade. That's Remedy. That's what I thought it was called, but I didn't trust myself. Um, like I would want something that I could use on top of this because I love this shade, but I don't have a metallic in this color. So I'd want something sheer enough that I could use it as a base. Yeah, like that. That would be stunning. Like you really pack on Remedy and then you just go over with that. Ooh, that would be so freaking pretty. Um, man, Ray is just such a good shadow. This is Ray from Beauty Bay's Wilderness palette. I'm gonna go with that. I'm just not even gonna fight it. That's what my heart is telling me to do. And then, thank God, Blend Bunny included a teal row in this wonderful palette. So we get to put a teal metallic in here. Um, as far as what that looks like. Hmm. sticking out to me it's like sleepwalker from sugar pill or what are you <laughs> a 
That's Blend Bunny. This is underneath from Blend Bunny Surge. Underneath is such a pretty shade. It's like, um, where's my mattes from Blends? That's Surge. It's Kaleidos. Is this it? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so this is the mid-tone matte teal. That could be pretty. What are you? That's Spell from Beauty Bay's Book of Magic palette. I feel like that would work really well with the teals in here, so let's go with that. Okay, then we have blues. Um, as far as the blues go, I really don't know. Um, I have the middle blue right here. This is Chance, and it's a very cobalt kind of blue. Um, so what do I have that would work well? Got this from Beauty Bay. This is Potion. It would look nice with that, but I don't think that's exactly what I want. That's Ocean. Yeah, Ocean from Beauty Bay Wilderness. Again, I don't think that's quite the thing. I could go with this really, really sheer blue. Let's see, what would that look like on top of Chance? It's not really, there we go, okay. That would be pretty. Although it shifts a little bit more greenish blue than I would like. Also got these guys. The only one not shifting kind of greenish is this. <laughs> this is Glass Eyes from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette. That's funny. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that's cool. And then it does, it doesn't lean greenish, but it does go a little bit purpley blue, maybe even a little bit pink. But I feel like it just fits in with the tone of the blues in the blends palette a little bit more. So let's do that. Okay, for the purples, another thing I really, really love about the blends palette is that the purples in the blends palette are cooler. They're not berries, they're not plums, they're actual like purples. Um, so I want something that is in that same kind of undertone. Let's see, I think this is, yeah, this is Signs from Blends. I mean, this is right next to it. Now, this is a little bit more of a sheer purple, but it's got that same undertone that the purples in blends have. Pretty sure this is Blend Bunny. Yep, Imaginary from Dollhouse. That's funny. It does have a little bit of a blue shift, but I think this would be perfect to include in a companion palette for blends. And then we've got 
are pinks. And the pinks and blends lean a little cool toned. Um, and I think this is, yeah, this is Chase from Blends. So you can see it's a little bit cooler toned than like these. Those lean a little bit more red. Um, as far as what I would want. This is kind of cool toned, but it leans really, really gold. That's Pretend from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse Palette. Um, it's too warm, too warm. Let's see. This is Spectre from Urban Decay's Moon Dust Palette. I think that's too warm. Um, I thought I had a pink from Kaleidos in here. I do, I'm not seeing it. I also got Cherry Blossom from Ace Butte's Floral Vintage Palette and Daydream from Give Me Glow. Daydream could be good to put in here. It's just so pigmented, it kind of covers up the base of whatever you put underneath it. Oh wait, that's pretend. What? Oh, sorry, okay. This is Tool. It is from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse Palette, but this is Tool. This is pretend. And it's like a, a white to pink duochrome. It's got a very sheer white base, though, so you can't really see the white. But it goes from like a cool pink to a warm pink. I think I'm going to include it. <laughs> I didn't expect to have so many Blend Bunny shades in here. It's kind of funny. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think this is the Kaleido shade. Yeah, yeah, that's um, Celestial from Kaleidos' Club Nebula palette. And this is Flash from Blend Bunny Surge. I just wanted to see what those would look like. You know, the Kaleidos is actually, I think... I'm going to go with the Kaleidos, actually. I like that better. It kind of does the same thing. It goes from cool pink to warm pink, but it's just so much more glittery. So I think I'm just going to go with that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, two more. And we've got our neutrals. I just want to go with a glitter for this. Maybe not. Um, what would I even want in this row? Let's see, the neutrals in blends lean pretty warm. I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Pretty sure this is Mama Bear. This is like very warm brown, like practically a reddish brown. Very, very warm. So, but then like, um, yeah, but then the lightest brown, which is truth, leans very cool. 
they work really well together, but it's just like, this is almost like taupey brown and this is so warm. Um, would lithium be too cool toned? think so. I think that would work with anything really. Although it just kind of sparkles a bunch of different colors when it's on top of something else. And I want something neutral looking. I want something like brown. Um, what about you? That could be nice. It's kind of light still, but it's got that warmth, but it's still very much brown. What are you? This is Mineral from Ace Beauté's Classical Paradise Palette. This is a really nice metallic. And I think that would look really pretty with the neutrals in blends. Okay, and then finally, we have blacks and whites. I don't want to just go silver. I don't want to do that. This is the gray from Blend Bunny. And like, um, I have a few different blacks and a couple different whites from Blend Bunny. I don't know which ones are which right off the top of my head. But this... I guess I could go with the glitter. I have a couple down here. Or we could go with one of these kind of interesting silvery shades. This one is almost like a pink, like a grayish pink. And this one feels like a silver, but it feels like a little bit unique. Kind of warm. Although this one could be interesting to work with with other shades. I feel like that could work with the purples or the pinks or add some nice like contrast with like the greens. That could be interesting. But then you could still make kind of a silvery like black and white smoky eye with it if you wanted to. Um, or I could go with granite from Urban Decay. No, I think that's too dark. Um, and these are iridescent. They like shift a bunch of different colors. So I don't know if I'd want that either. You know what? I think I want to go with this. This is Cyborg. From ABH Sultry. I think that would be interesting to add in here. Okay, so looking at this, not super happy with it. Okay, um, I think electric is too close to ray in retrospect. It's just too much like it. And then I think I actually want to go with that other silver.
Okay, much happier with this. So um, I replaced Electric with Sunflower from Ace Butte's Classical Paradise palette. And I replaced um, Cyborg with Hail from Lime Crimes Venus Immortalis palette. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I like this. I like this a lot. I feel like this would be a really good companion for me personally for my blends palette. I like it. And like, of course, if I wanted to, I could add to it and like I could make it even bigger and give myself more things to work with that would work really well with blends. But I want to keep it nice and simple. And like, I think this would be really good and pretty versatile for what I would want to do with it and blends um, if I was doing that. I don't plan on doing that. My blends palette is dismantled, like I said. But if I had my blends palette intact, I would definitely use this with it just to see how it works together. But anyway, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope this was interesting. Let me know is this what you would build if you were building a companion to blends? Um, what would you do differently? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and like what you would add in, what you would, you know, want in a companion palette. Um, I think this is a really interesting idea. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you when I see you. Bye!